This video will show how to import and visualize seismic data, as well as the seismic survey planning tool. So we'll get going straight away with the Segway 3D importer. So you can access that by going to the file menu, import, whoops, import, <laughs> Segway 3D file. Um, but you can also just drag and drop that from your file explorer, like I have here my segway i'll bring it in and it'll just pop up this window so you can choose your your file configuration so we are supporting the these standard uh, segway 3d file formats you can choose your byte locations and in this case the z-axis is a uh, depth i mean so the z is positive going down and you also get your uh, 3d seismic cube dimensions so you get the origin, the grid size, cell size, azimuth, number of cells. You can see here that the one that we're about to import is 153 million cells. And while it imports, I'll just let you know that this data is uh, from Darlow Gold Mine in Australia, and it's a courtesy of uh, Red5 Limited. Okay. So here we have our seismic cube. Um, I'll just turn on some sections, my U, V, and Z sections. And I'll also paint them by that seismic amplitude property. And this will just take a couple seconds. Okay, so now we can edit the data colors. For example, I can change the color table to seismic, or I can also make it flag like this. And I'll also change the color mapping function. Um, I'll leave it as, as linear. I'll just uh, trim it on, on both sides. And again, this is gonna take just a couple seconds, but it shouldn't be too bad. Like that. Just a moment. Here we have it. So the same filters that you usually use in your data colors should apply if you want to uh, see only the high amplitude or maybe the, the low amplitude. That's, uh, that's all still the, the same as the usual geoscience analyst functionality. Um, in terms of the visual parameters, you can make the section smooth. Um, you can move around your U, V, and Z sections. Um, you can also create a section in like any given orientation. You can show volumes and also ISO values, which in this version have been updated to make it a, a little bit faster. So, so yeah, that's, a, that's how to import and visualize your 3D Segway files. And that's all part of Geoscience Analyst's like free import and visualization functionality. And on that same theme of seismic, I'll show you another new tool, um, and that's the seismic survey planning. So let me just go over there, here. So what I have here is a topography surface, and then I have these two surfaces, um, so these two structures that I want to, to, to hit with my survey. Um, so I'll go to my panels menu, survey designer, and here we have this new option, the seismic reflection survey. So I'll just click on this one. I'll make this a little bigger. So we're gonna create a new simple ray path survey. Um, and I'll just draw my line here like this, which I can change the azimuth and the length. I can uh, add more lines, change the line spacing. In this case, I'll leave just one line. I'll keep it really simple and I will increase the station spacing to 200 like that. Then I'm gonna drape these, uh, these source points onto my topography. I'm gonna create a 2D grid that we're gonna come back to in a little bit. Then I'll choose my reflection surfaces. So that's uh, these ones right here, the pink one and the green one and my topography. And I'll create that. So what this did, it's, it, created, um, it created two new objects. You'll see here that you have a new curve and a new 2D grid. And we'll start by looking at that curve. So 
if I select it, you'll see all of the ray paths highlighted in yellow, but I'll just highlight a couple of these. So what this tool is, is really doing, it's, it's drawing the ray path um, from the source to every triangle on our surface. And then it is uh, reflected back and wherever it's reflected on our topography, it's going to draw that point um, that would be our receiver. And it'll do that for every triangle in our surface. Then um, this also has a shot ID property. So you'll be able to see what uh, source point does every receiver correspond to. And also the surfaces. So all of these red ones were bounced off this green surface and all of these purple ones were bounced off this purple surface. So then looking at the 2D grid really quickly, I'll just go on the top view. It has a ray count property. So what this is doing, it's counting the amount of rays um, in every grid cell. So I'll just show the, the rays again. So for example, this cell will have 22 rays that, um, that hit that, that area. And what that's really doing, it's just giving you an idea of the spread of, of uh, where you should put your geophones. And another new thing in this version um, for pro users is that you can export your 2D grids and uh, you'll be able to export to ER Mapper and also GeoTIFF format.